So I've gone from doing videos in the car to videos on the patio. <laughs> so now I'll get back to the car soon. And Tim is wandering around. It's just we've had such amazing weather. This morning, uh, a cool front moved in. We had storms. We had rain like crazy. And now we've got some blue skies and scattered clouds as the sun's going down. So pretty amazing. Kids out playing, dogs barking, Timba eating something off of the patio floor, which he's not supposed to. So anyway, I want to share an interesting dynamic that I realized when Tim and I were in Austin. And that is the energy of an animal and the energy of humans. I've always heard when I was growing up that uh, dogs are a, they're a good judge of character. And what I witnessed at the event in Austin is there were some people that Timba tolerated. I'm not gonna name any names. <laughs> there were some people that Timba liked. Wagtail, just, you know, rubbed up against, almost like a cat, and seemed to like those humans. I'm not gonna name any names. Then there was a third level of humans that Timba seemed to connect at a cellular level, at a higher vibrational level that I thought was quite interesting. And I feel that the only way that I could have ever recognized this was for the fact that I was staying very present moment. And I'm wondering if being very present moment we can realize those energies within humans that we connect with. Because this was such an interesting dynamic to watch Timba and the way she expressed, and the way she expressed was through her body language, which I thought was quite interesting. It really shared, or she shared with me the different types of humans that she probably wants in her space and the other types of humans that perhaps the energy, the vibration that they give off, she would probably prefer not to be around them. She doesn't have a voice. She can't tell me that. But if I'm very aware of her energy, her body language, I can help her be comfortable around more humans. It's amazing, raising her as a service dog, I really feel that is going to assist in her placement of her forever recipient the person that she is going to serve, <laughs> even though she does funny things like chasing her tail. Oops, oops, there she goes, there she goes. <laughs> so every now and then she does that, it's quite hysterical. So I just wanted to share that insight in regards to vibration and how if we are present moment, we will be able to tap into the vibration of other human beings. And if we love animals, we can have a closer connection with them as well. So there's our video for today. And yes, that was both of us, me and Timba. Have a great one, folks. Cheers. Patty out. Oh, and Timba too. <laughs>